Hello there, I'm Alex from the Skills Team. This video is an extract from my introduction to referencing and Cite Them Right workshop, delivered live to an audience of students on the 20th of October 2020. In this extract, I explain the reasons that underpin why we actually reference, in the aim of persuading you that referencing is a useful activity that can help you to achieve the grade that you want. If you would like to attend one of our workshops live, then go to our Enhance Your Learning Workshops calendar linked in the description of this video and register for an event. So, first of all, I'm going to ask you a simple question of why do we actually reference? So why do you think we reference? Give one reason in the chat of why you think we reference. There is a number of reasons and it'll just be interesting to see what people think. So I've had a few things that come, have come through so far, such as if it's not your idea it needs crediting, avoid plagiarism, uh, show that it's not someone else's work because it's not your work, avoid plagiarism, prove, uh, to prove our knowledge comes from a valid and reliable source, I like that one, support evidence. So we've got some really good ones. Layla says, hey, get good marks, I totally agree with that one. Uh, back in your argument with credible sources. So we've got quite a few, uh, more than I have time to read out, but thank you all for everyone who's said them so far. They're all correct. But in my eyes, the general one that's come through there and the general one that normally comes through is this, is avoid plagiarism. And that is the big one that usually comes through. And I like to split this into two categories. The, the less exciting ones, the reasons why you reference, which are, tend to be the common ones that we get, and then the more exciting ones. So people usually say avoid plagiarism. I, I agree, totally important reason to reference. Probably the most important is not getting kicked out of university for stealing other people's reasons. But it's not the only reason why I reference. I would say there's some more selfish reasons. So uh, other people might say, well, to allow the reader to find the source that you've used. Yeah, I, I agree, it's a valid reason. Um, so that the reader can look at our original sources, as Kirsty just said in the chat. Um, we also got, which is something that someone else has said to acknowledge the work of others. And I, again, I agree. Although to someone, to an individual who's looking to spend a lot of time referencing, those reasons, although they are valid, can be less selfish than some of the others. So I'm going to show you now some more selfish, positive reasons about why we reference and why actually you, want, you might want to make time for referencing. And some of you have already alluded to these, which is really good. The first positive reason about referencing is actually it allows you to demonstrate the research that you've done. If you've done and spent a long time researching and read loads of great sources, there's no other way to show it than by having a long reference list full of varied source types. And it really does make your look work look good at a glance. And I really think that's a really good way of doing it. It also, additionally, as someone alluded to in the chat as well, helps you back up your arguments with authority. Every time you can say that every time you've made a point, it's not just you making that point, it may be your point, but an academic or someone from a journal or some article or data is actually supporting you and backing up anything you say. And that can be really, really powerful. And finally, the third separate, uh, the third selfish reason is actually to help separate the ideas of other people from your own critical thinking. So by using references, it highlights where you've shown criticality. So I think referencing is actually really, really important because it is something that enables you to do critical analysis, show wider research and back up your arguments with authority. All of those things are criteria that you need to pass in order to get first and referencing allows you to do that. So those are the boring reasons and then these three are the more positive ones. And to show you how powerful backing up your own argument with authority can be is actually, so my point here is that referencing is positive and to back that up, I have got these reasons from Power and Shield 2019, uh, page one, which is the Cite Them Right textbook, although we have now have an online resource, which is amazing, and I really do love it as a resource. So if I wanted to show you the full citation, I'd just show you that, which is a bit longer. So I've got, first of all, the reference, sorry, the in-text citation, and I've got the full reference here. Thank you for watching this extract from our workshop. I hope that you found it useful. If you're interested in learning further about this topic, I've added some useful links into the description of this video. There is also a link to our calendar of upcoming workshops in the description. If you want to see our workshops live, then you can use this calendar to find and register for events that you're interested in. Thank you again for watching.